Do you find that you take a whole lot of screenshots and then they get just lost in your camera roll and you can never find them again? <laughs> Today we're going to help you solve that. I'm April Berry with learndorecome.com. We'll help you create simple systems so you can do what matters most. Now, one of the beautiful things about having smartphones and access to all the great information out there is that you can quickly take screenshots so that you can remember key pieces of information or if you're taking you know, screenshots of slides for a presentation or something like that, it's amazing. But we want you to be able to actually access them. So I'm going to show you a little snippet from a recent class that we had inside of our STEP program and you can learn exactly how to do it. During this class, I've been taking pictures of your slides on my phone. I do that a lot with classes. And then they're just stuck in my phone. Where would you put, you know, make a folder for your, this class? And where would you put that? Yeah, great question, Jana. Thanks for asking. Um, so something like that, I would want to keep in my long-term filing because I might want to reference it next month. Or I might want to reference it tomorrow. two years from now, you know, like... Who knows when I'm going to be pulling this out and referencing it. So anything like that is going to go into my Evernote. So within Evernote, I have a specific section under my personal um, home folder that is dedicated to um, classes, education, training, anything like that. So eBooks that I've read, classes I've take, taken, um, any notes that I've taken. So for instance, for this class, if I was sitting here jotting down notes is that I was listening to this. I would go into Evernote, I would take um, my phone, I would upload my notes that I just took. And then underneath that, you can easily go into your camera roll and just insert each one of those pictures that you took right into Evernote. So you've got your notes, you've got the screenshots, you've got everything right there. And then how would you label it? So would you label it by date or subject or whatnot? So again, I like to use date. I like to use like the, the author's name next. Um, so for this, it wouldn't be me. It would be like learn to become because that would be your reference, you know, for all of this training material. Um, and then I would put the subject. So digital organizing or digital naming, whatever you want to call it. And then um, you, there's not really necessarily like a reference tool or a version of anything like this. So those would be the three key factors that I would want to put in the file name within my classes and education notebook within Evernote. Okay. Can I just say what a total freaking game changer this is? I mean, <laughs> this will work for all my classes I take for work, for a church. I, I take classes all the time, but then, I mean, for the doctor's appointments and stuff for my brother and getting them to my um, staff, oh. uh, I'm going to go cry for joy now. This is awesome. Oh. <laughs> I'm yeah. so thrilled. Thank uh, you. Yeah, it, it is. It I'm was a huge this. game changer for me as well. And um, again, for like personal health history, I have, um, I've made a health history tab and then each of my family members have their own notebook within Evernote. And so then when we go to the doctor, I start off by the date and then any notes I take at the doctor's office. And if there's like a, a lab test that they ordered, I have my notes and then I can just simply add in that little quick screenshot. Again, it's just like takes a second with your phone. Um, and upload it that way, you know, whether it's from the computer or I print it and just, you know, upload it here and then I can just throw it away or whatnot. And then it's all listed there chronologically. And if I need anything, when I'm at another doctor's office, it's all right here on my phone. And I can be like, Oh wait, I have that test result right, right here, you know, and it takes right. me 30 seconds or less to have that pulled up that I can share with the doctor in from Evernote. You can easily share files as well. Um, you know, if you want to email it to, you know, a doctor or somewhere, you know, someone else who would need to reference that. Um, and you can also easily um, collaborate and share with an Evernote. So like maybe you have, um, what's your brother's name? Keith and all Keith. the caregivers. Yeah. Yeah. So you could have like a Keith folder, like a Keith shareable folder. And within that, you could allow access to only that one folder with all of those caregivers if you wanted them to be able to have access if there was something that they needed to reference or blood work or test results or whatever it may be. Um, you could definitely make a shareable folder um, to serve your needs as well. Thank yeah. You. I mean, and everybody, I mean, oh. you all have your own unique situations, you know, I mean, obviously we've gotten to hear a lot of Gina's story and um, the many hats that she's wearing, many responsibilities, you know, but just kind of getting everything into a way that makes sense for you and, and that can serve your needs is, is what that's all about. Thank you. Yay. Yes, you bet. <laughs> 
Now, whether you use Evernote or you're using Google Drive or OneNote or the Notes app on your phone, you can put the screenshots wherever you like. As long as you have some type of tool that enables you to include photos and then give that note a title so that you can locate it easily. Also, a lot of these different notes will give you an option of creating a link that goes right to the note. So if you need that information in relation to a project or in relation to a calendar event, or you want to email it to someone, you can just share that note and it's super simple. If we can help you to save time scrolling through all your screenshots looking for what you need or feeling overwhelmed when you're in the middle of a presentation or in the middle of doing something because you don't know how you're going to be able to find that information in the future, you're going to find that you're going to be able to use your time and energy and all the great resources that you have in a really positive way to help you move forward on what matters most. So we hope that you enjoyed this video here at Learn to Become. This is part of our full command central and our full system that can help you to be able to totally get out of the overwhelm. So please enjoy the other videos on the channel. Let us know how your screenshot organization goes and we'll see you soon at Learn to Become.